I just wanted to release a quick update to my previous video after I found a slightly better way of carrying out this attack. Now, originally I was directing the user away from the homepage here to a signing page that was hosted on my own site that was a perfect replica of the genuine signing page. And the reason that I was doing that was because this signing page is loaded over HTTPS. Now that means that I can't modify this page whilst it's in transit because it is loaded over an encrypted link. But what I actually realized was if you revert back to HTTP, the signing form doesn't actually enforce a HTTPS connection, so that makes the page vulnerable for me to modify it in transit. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to enable Fiddler again. And then so I reload this page. You can now see that the signing link is actually pointing to a HTTP version, so I've modified that so that it is going to direct the user to a non-secure version of this page. And again here now, if we take a look at the form, because this page is now loaded over HTTP and it is vulnerable, you can see that I've actually changed the action on the form back to my original steelcredentials.php file. So this will behave exactly as it did before, except this time the user has not been navigated away from that ribblevalley.gov.uk address, which means that they're much, much less likely to actually realise that their credentials are going to be stolen. So as normal, I've signed in there and everything is absolutely fine, the user is logged in and that steelcredentials.php file has actually managed to do exactly what it did before and save a copy and redirect the user back.